of the Hoover Dam. Then there's some trees and then the pink building will be that big theater that I told you guys about that Desi Arnaz Jr. owns. See, so there's the Boulder Dam Hotel. And then the pink and white building, those trees are a little bushy now. But that's the theater right down there. Now as we get up here, we're coming to the stop sign. You're going to look out the left, you'll see some brick houses. Those were built for the dam management. So if you were a boss at the dam, or an engineer, you get a nice brick house to live in. If you're one of the workers, they gave you what you call a dingbat house to live in. Two carpenters, 12 hours to put it together. 624 square foot house. They call them dingbat houses because dirt, snakes, scorpions, tarantulas have crawled through the floorboard. Drove the wife's dingbatty to keep it. You'll see this big flywheel out to the right. They use it for 40 years in generator eight before they put it there in the park. That thing weighs 70,000 pounds. There's 17 of those down there at the dam. Then out the right side again, you'll see the Department of Reclamation, great big white building on the hill. Very first building built here in Boulder City. From here, all the main streets are shaped like a fan and named a state that the Colorado River runs through. And as we come up around the corner here, this is where housing prices, guys, skyrocket. Uh, for one, anybody know who Danny Thomas is? The founder of the St. Jude's Foundations. Here, that big palm trees in the big White House. That used to be his house before he passed away. Um, Marlo Thomas and Phil Donahue own it now. And it's said to be leased out to Debbie Reynolds. Now, I don't know if you guys ever been on any tours out this way or to the Hoover Dam or anything before. But if you ever come out here with a tour guide that can tell you, that the sister says, oh, Clint Eastwood lives there. Tom Selleck lives there. They're full of crap. They don't know exactly where they live. They do live here. Tom Selleck, Eddie Murphy, uh, Clint Eastwood's got the house here, Seth Green, uh, lead singer from Smash Mouth, Eddie Van Halen, John Bon Jovi, all of them own houses right here on this hill. But now, you have to be rich and famous like that, or at least rich to live on this hill, because if you have a house, if you use a lake in the middle of a desert, what do you think your house is worth? You cannot find out where any of these movie stars and famous people live because everything's under a trust. You know, so you're not, you're not finding out. I mean, Desi Arnaz Jr., yeah, I know where he lives. He lives clear on the back side of the town, look at, overlooking the valley on the other side. That's just because we used to go to the Boulder Dam Hotel all the time when we went to the Hoover Dam. Tour. Now, it says if uh, you're going to see these, it's your first time seeing them, you'll have 24 hours worth of gaming luck in Vegas. So we can all use that, right? How many of you guys have been playing slot? In three rolls, right? Look, you hit that, if we're all in three rolls, you hit that 11 to $30 million. Just remember, my name's Robert, and I work for Comedy on Deck Tours. And there's a boat back there in Boulder City I'd really, really like to have. <laughs> hey, I'll take your boat anytime you want, but you're going to be the millionaire. You're paying for the gas. <laughs> but no, just kind of keep your eyes peeled them as you sit out there. And you guys, you guys see Lake Mead out there, of course. Lake Mead, America's largest man-made lake. 115 miles long, 550 shoreline miles. And of course, Hoover Dam holds it back. Now, uh, we are in a drought. You can see the white ring around it. You'll even see it better when we stop at the Hoover Dam on the way back today. Now, we're going to get up here. I'm going to let you guys just enjoy your views of the lake. And remind you, when you're looking at that lake, look, that's less than 20% of that lake. You guys enjoy the views. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for the sheep, especially when we get down here by the hacienda and we have all the rock walls. That's where the sheep like to hang out because they're now. We probably could have took it today, but the AC keeps going. It should turn on and off, on and off. We don't need it right now, but I guarantee you we're going to need it on the way back because it will get waste up for um, exactly how our day is going to go. So, and at that point, that's what I mean. At least one person in each group will wake. So one of you guys can go to sleep, one of you guys can't. <laughs> you guys figure it out. But one of you want to be awake. There went down over 3,000 feet. They hit water so full of arsenic and sulfur that you cannot uh, filter it out. There is a place you'll see pro properties like that. Hey, houses with water. Yeah, they got sulfur water that they are using as wastewater and the house stinks like sulfur. So, which is the trees, the cows, and the water. Who the hell would want to live out here? <laughs> oh, 
you get out away from this town and a lot of these places use generators for power. 11 different species of rattlesnakes out here. Two prominent ones, the Western Diamondback and the Mojave Green. Now the Western Diamondback, you treat with that snake antivenom, Mojave Green rattlesnake, guys. You cannot treat with uh, regular snake antivenom. It has a hemotoxin and a neurotoxin in its poison. You get bit by the snake, you have about 30 minutes to get hooked to a heart and lung machine. Or it's pretty well, you're, you're pretty much done. They do have an 80% fatality rate after getting hooked up to this heart and lung machine. Now, there's one way to avoid all these. Stay on the mark of the areas for the public and the marked out trails. Do not go wandering off through any of the bushes today or off the trails. The stuff, look, these things are all still out. They're not hibernating. Okay guys, we're approaching a dirt road. Guys, make sure there's nothing hanging off or anything. If you put anything in the overhead compartments that will fall down and hit you in the head. I'm not kidding you when I say we're gonna shake, rattle, and roll going down this road. And before anybody asks why don't they pave this road, well, it comes down to politics, guys. Politics and, uh, Put down this cliff line, nice wide path, no handrails, be careful. The brown building's where you get your meal, under the canopy's where you enjoy. Over the left, you got vendors set up to sell Indian jewelry. Have a great day, keep a smile on your face, be happy.
Oh. I'm in James Bond. 